we can generate uh, random numbers uh, with the computer um, of course um, they are not truly random um, but but they are random like so almost random um, generating uh, real random numbers on, on computing is hard because it's a, it's a logical machine so you need special hardware for that <coughs> Uh, so we can use a module called a random module, which is kind of obvious. So we import that module random, and this module has a has a function called random, which generates a number between zero and one. So it could be zero, zero point one, zero point two, uh, until one. So one way we can print is simply print print one. So let's say we have a variable x. Uh, so this will generate a variable, a number between 0 and 1, and store it into a variable x and then print. So once we run this, see that it doesn't know this function. Uh, so we have to use the random module and the method. And it generated a number between 0 and 1. And just keep doing that once you keep running. So 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, which is kind of nice, but uh, many times uh, you, you probably want a whole number between 0 and 10 or something like that. So there's another way to do that, and that's also using this module, but a different function called the rand int, so the random integer between uh, 1 and 10. And then you see it picks whole numbers between 1 and 10. Of course, you can uh, choose larger ranges. For example, between 1 and 1000. Starting picking numbers. Or you could start off directly at a larger number. So anywhere from 500 to 1 to 1000. And you'll see it picks those numbers. Uh, this module, the random module, also supports uh, manipulating lists in a way. So if we have a set of numbers, uh, let's call it uh, the lottery. Pick uh, random uh, numbers, sort of, because I'm picking them. Um, this is just a usual list. So we have a list, uh, lottery, and we output that. Um, and then um, get an error. So there's our list, a bunch of numbers, and we can use the random module to shuffle these numbers. So they are in a random order. And to do so, we simply call random.shuffle lottery, which is the list. And then you'll see this, the order is shifted. Uh, maybe uh, you have a, a whole bunch of, of numbers or names, and you want to pick the lucky uh, winner. So to do so, First, we have to have some kind of list. Um, so let's create a list of uh, people in this class. Um. So we pick just uh, random uh, numbers. Uh, Okay, we have a list with with uh, classmates, and create again a variable x, which is the lucky winner. So let's just call the variable lucky winner. Is uh, one of the person of this list. So, so first we specify the list, and then we specify the number of items. Finally, we print the lucky winner. 
Hmm. Not sure what's going on here. Ah, right. Plus mids. It's a reserved keyword. So. Okay, so it picked a random winner, Daniel, in this case. And always picks one, the sample method. Picks one uh, random winner. Uh, unless we specify more uh, elements. So we can pick the three winners, for example. And we'll get three items here in the output. So these are various things you can do with a random module. If you want to know more, uh, please have a look at pythonspot.com or follow me on Twitter at pythonspot.